Hello everyone and welcome back to part development for Kerbal Space Program. I have another concept that I've come up with and previously when I came up with interesting concepts for Kerbal Space Program and for space in general, uh, people have come back to me with very good engineering points and I've had to change them. So I started out with a completed part and then it turns out that I would need to modify it. Uh, that happened with the depot and also uh, with the advanced starship. So. I decided that I will introduce the concept now before I finish the part and then let you guys tell me what you think about it and then I'll continue working on it. So I've just mocked it up very quickly and the idea here is when we land on Mars we really want a huge surface area to slow down because Mars's atmosphere is very thin and that we would benefit from being able to slow down more effectively with a large surface area. Uh, Starship sort of does this by basically being a huge empty fuel tank as it comes in, but it's very complicated the way Starship actually lands on Mars. And so the whole business of an optimal Mars lander is sort of up for grabs. Uh, I've had many, many, many different ideas, including the Maru Q and stuff like that. Uh, but I came up with this other idea. And it looks like the front end of Starship, that's intentional. It could be the top of any rocket. But uh, for now, it needs to be a fairly large rocket for reasons I'll explain. But this is meant to be a lander that turns into a base, so it stays on Mars. And what it does is this. It's like this. And so what happens is these are the habitats. And people, of course, would not uh, be... Well, I mean, it depends on how you look at it, but they probably wouldn't be in here like this. They'll rendezvous with this in orbit. Uh, this central portion here would have a docking port, and this would dock to the rest of the rocket. So the rest of the rocket would have a sort of a piston-like thing uh, that extends into here, and then there's the fuel, and then the engines were pointing downward, right? Uh, so, but I'm pointing it downward like this so that you can see the base arrangement here, and uh, basically, what we have is the size here would be about 4 meters across and 2.6 meters up. Actually, in the center, it'll be 3 meters. And then on the edges here, we could either have cots, you know, uh, this room for lying down, or we could have the life support stuff. So, and then each of these is oh, about uh, a little bit more than 10 meters in length. And we could probably extend it more than that. And there's supposed to be a tunnel, and there'll be a flexible thing where the tunnel attaches to this so that they can go across into each hab. So these will be flexible tunnels, sort of uh, inflatable type things. But these would be otherwise hard habs. So, and then, of course, because it's deployed like this, they could get out fairly easily. It doesn't have to be curved like this. It could be flat. But uh, I just modeled it very quickly. And the central cylinder here would, at the bottom, give them the ability to pass through, but at the top would have thrusters, and if we can fit enough landing propellant in the landing propellant. And so the landing thrusters would be up here tilted outward so that they fire into the gaps, right? And when the... The, the thing is, we would probably need, if we want them to get in here, because the propellant would be up here. I mean, either we have a tunnel for them to go through. This is pretty wide. Uh, this top thing is uh, four meters in diameter. So we could have a tunnel thing for them to go through if it docks and then uh, people can go through and then get in here. Or we could have a docking port on the nose and have the nose cap open up. So, and then of course, because we have the tunnel system here already, that should work out. So that's one thing, but maybe this isn't enough uh, descent fuel, and also maybe when we th when we're thinking about how to get people into it, that's an issue. Also, there's no ascent vehicle. This stays on Mars. So if we wanted an ascent vehicle, we could have one like this. And this is very quickly uh, mocked up. But it's, uh, I haven't even completed the uh, polygons yet. But you get the picture. Uh, it is going to fit around it and help with the landing. Uh, it's strictly speaking, we don't need these portions, but the idea is that this would be an ascent vehicle. It would have enough fuel to get back to orbit around Mars, but also it would have enough fuel to help this land. Now, this throws off the nice 
surface area to mass ratio that we've been having. So that's a little bit sad, but it wouldn't be coming down fully fueled. It would be mostly empty. And then we would have ISR, you hook up to it and then fully fuel it for ascent. And again, the thrusters would be pretty high up so that they fire into these gaps. Uh, so that would be the idea. And so that's the combination ascent vehicle plus uh, lander base. So I call this the petal lander uh, or petal base because of the way it splays out like this. We might need some aerodynamic surfaces to help control it. And maybe those will be built into these flaps. I don't want the whole flaps moving. That, that would be another way to control it, but that's a bad idea. But we could imagine that there would be sort of sub flaps on these that could tilt out and that could change things. So it'll be a very complicated aerodynamic situation. Uh, but I, I'm thinking about fully modeling this and making it look good and everything. But are there objections? So. Once again, this would only be relevant really on Mars because it's the thin atmosphere of Mars that we're dealing with. We're trying to slow down in the thin atmosphere of Mars. This might aero capture first and then come down or it could come straight down. Uh, I don't know if this is a great idea. It looks like a propeller like this, actually. Hey, that's a great way to make a propeller for those who want to make propellers. But anyway, um, yeah. Uh, it's really a Mars thing. It's not a lander for anywhere else. The thing about landing on Mars is, as once you've slowed down, the final bit of touchdown only requires about 400 meters per second of delta V. So we don't need a whole lot of fuel or thrusters to land. The gravity of Mars is one third that of Earth. So we don't need full Earth thrusters and we don't need a huge amount of fuel. So we could probably pack it in up here, even if these modules are fairly heavy. And uh, on the bright side, there are many things we can also do with this aside from actually landing it. Uh, if we want to, we could have another one on the opposite side of a piston, and then we could rotate them around, <clears throat> excuse me, we could rotate them around, and they could be a station, and each of these would get artificial gravity, right? Because, you know, the floor would be on this side. So... I don't know if this is the best kind of artificial gravity station, but it has the benefit of being easily launched, right? Uh, we can launch it like this. Uh, instead of having different levels like here, you know, right? You could have one floor, another floor, another floor. But if we do that and have artificial gravity, each floor would have different gravity. Now, there might be benefits to that, but it's sort of better like this, where the gravity is even throughout these four halves. And then you could imagine sort of a center section in or one of these to counterbalance it. And then you have a whole station. So we might turn this into a station as well. So you can think of this as a station module too. But I think it's a very different kind of lander base station module for Kerbal Space Program. So I'll get your thoughts about whether this is a good idea. So with that all being explained, I hope I haven't missed anything. There are some finer details to this business, so yeah, especially as far as the connecting bit. Uh, I would like the Kerbals actually to be able to move through like pass-through system, but maybe we'll make this not a pass-through thing. I think that'd be for the best. I can more easily animate the fact that we have a little tunnel going through if we're not actually trying to have Kerbals go through. That's just a Kerbal Space Program thing because making flexible stuff in Kerbal Space Program is a pain. So yeah, but I'll think about that. If So if you have any thoughts, please bring them up now before I get to the more serious modeling of this. I would like to square away the design, finalize the design, if you will, before actually trying to do all the modeling and texturing and all that business. So with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.